Hello guys, in this video we'll learn advanced pattern matching in Rust. If you've been using Rust programming language for some time now, you should have already fallen in love with pattern matching. The purpose of this video is to level up with pattern matching and learn some more tricks. So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's begin. And as we start, there is a link to my discord in description, so make sure you join it. Let's start with a very basic example. We have a number as 9 and we do pattern match here and try to match in a range or if it's not fallen within our range then we just print the number is not in the range of 1 to 10. So now if we try to run this this will give me straightforward that the number is between 1 to 10. But what if I want to know what exactly is that number? Is it 9? Is it uh, 8? Is it a 7? 5? What is that number? In that case I want to print that number but here I don't know what is my number is. So we'll use add operator so we can simply do this do n here and add everything else remains as it is the number is and right here we can have our number which is n and we try to write it and let's first run it then we understand so as you can see the number is 9 between 1 and 10 similarly if we try to even change it and write it then we run again the number is 3 between 1 and 10 so what is this add operator so without this add operator we can either match a pattern which is something that we just did or bind a value to a variable but not both because here as you can see we want to do both we want to bind the value to n and then we also want to pattern match at the same time the add operator bridges that gap and allows us to both do both basically we can do pattern match and then we can also uh, bind the value to the variable now this is a very basic example but trust me add operator helps us in a more complex examples as well so let's take a look let's take this example we have a enum message hello and goodbye and in man we have message we are doing pattern matching here but instead of the range here we just bind a variable n and then we print it now if we run this it says hello with value 123 but what if i want to restrict the range of uh, hello like let's say it can be just less than 100 then we need that add operation to perform both the pattern matching and the binding of variable so what we can do simply here is it and we can just say uh, maybe 0 to 100 and then we can just Try to run this and there you go it says not a hello message because it's not falling in the range so now we know two of the use cases when we need add operator let's look at more advanced examples when using add operator for pattern matching we are not just limited to match we can also use in similar statements as well where we have if operations so if let sum and here we want to detect if n is in this range which is basically the value falls between 40 to 50 then we go this side otherwise we go to the else and similarly if we try to run this there you go value 42 is between 40 and 50 and similarly if we try to reduce our range to say uh, 10 and right here we can just say 0 and now we go to the other side another impressive use case that i come across is this when we have a struct with some uh, fields and we want to pattern match based on a specific field and then in a specific range as you can see here so basically here p is having our point which is a struct and how clean this looks like anyone looking at this code can easily understand that hey we want to pattern match on basis of y so x can be literally anything but we want to ensure y is in between this range from 0 to 10 so if we run this there you go it says point is in the range and let's say if i try to do here a 70 and we write it out and there you go point is not in the range so it's pretty impressive you guys can try it out at your end and let me know what you think about add operator and pattern matching i haven't seen a lot of people using it in their rust code so that's why i thought 
uh, it's better to create a video on this to encourage people start using it and getting the fruits of this amazing ad operator that we have on pattern matching in Rust. With that said, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learn something new as always. If you do, like the video, share with your friends. I'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic. Until then, bye-bye.